Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of February 22nd through the 28th. Okay, keep in mind, not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you, but let's just see what comes up. What do we have for Cancer for the week ahead? What do we have for Cancer? Appreciation. So this is about appreciation, about being appreciated, getting what you deserve. Somebody may be appreciating you this week or you may be appreciating somebody else. Looks like we have a very beautiful individual here that, um, well, absolutely lovely by the looks of things. When I see roses, it looks like a rose to me. This is romance, okay, love. Um, there is an opportunity for love. There is some sort of appreciation that is coming your way or you will be expressing your appreciation towards another person. This is well-deserved. It is well-deserved. We have somebody here that is very uh, down-to-earth. It feels like this person is down-to-earth. They... Um, feels like this person is very creative, loves to be outside. Um, very, very beautiful energy. Things are also going to start to blossom for you. This may be the very beginning. Um, you may have been hurt very badly, but there is somebody around that is going to appreciate you. I mean, there is somebody that appreciates you. I know that there is. That's what this card tells me. Um, if we can get it to focus. That's what it tells me. I mean, this person is obviously very gentle and kind and loving and... Somebody appreciates this person, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. Somebody's going to be getting the appreciation that they deserve. Hard work ahead. So you got some hard work ahead by the looks of things. Table. Hard work ahead. Butterfly. A change for the better. So there is going to be a change for the better, but it looks like it's not going to be easy. Now, whoever this person is, they deserve appreciation. So the appreciation is coming, okay? There's going to be a change, and it looks like it's a very positive change. What do we have for cancer? You know, what I want to say is I feel like you're, for some of you, you're dealing with an earth sign because I'm looking at the, I'm looking out at the earth here. I'm looking at the nature. You know, I just, I, it's a very earthly energy. Um, it's going to be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. Um, what do we have for cancer? Getting what you deserve. This is about give and take, equality, reciprocation, uh, a gift. Somebody may be getting a gift. They may be receiving a gift or they may be receiving something that they deserve. This is receiving balance. Um, balance is coming. Somebody's about to get the appreciation that they deserve. Whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. And it's like, it's about love because roses are a symbol of love. So something about love. Somebody maybe even receiving roses. Ooh, ooh, the king of pentacles in the past. So this is somebody that is unstable, insecure, uh, greedy, selfish, stubborn, irresponsible, unfaithful doesn't have anything solid to offer somebody that is more interested in what they can get materialistically than they are in love okay so you may have been dealing with somebody that was money hungry or greedy or selfish or didn't have any money or whatever the case is in the past that's in the past unfaithful there's somebody here that is unfaithful unloyal disloyal Now, this is about teamwork. It's about togetherness. It's about 
collaboration and communication. Somebody may have left. They may have left and maybe there's a, a hoping that they will come back or somebody may be thinking about leaving to get what they deserve. It could go many different ways. The Eight of Cups in reverse is pretending to be happy. Somebody may be in a third party situation where they are pretending to be happy. You know, that is superficial. It's not happy. It's emotionally disappointing, but staying put. Somebody doesn't want to face their emotions, you know, and go after what they deserve. They've been dealing with somebody that is controlling. Okay, this person is controlling and, you know, they may be holding on just for the assets or the sake of having something to hold on to. This is definitely going to be hard work to walk away and go after what you deserve. You deserve to be appreciated. You deserve to be loved. And there is an opportunity for love here. There is an opportunity for love. But you will have to... Uh, Go after what you deserve and stop staying in the emotionally disappointing situation. You may be, you may have a chance to work with somebody else, you know, to collaborate and communicate where there will be mutual respect. You might have to learn new things and do things that you've never done before, but there is an opportunity here. There is, but it will require you walking away from an emotionally disappointing situation that you have been avoiding. Somebody has been staying put. Okay, and, and, and if you, and it's interesting. It's like you've been giving, okay, take a look at this. You've been giving all of your attention to this person that is unfaithful, that is uh, materialistic, that is controlling, that is uh, money hungry, or doesn't have anything to offer you, whatever. You've been giving them your attention while this person over here is waiting. They're waiting for you to walk away and give you and and they're waiting for to for you to communicate they're waiting for you to work with them you know you can have balance you can have the love that you deserve if you can turn and look in the other direction and stop pretending that you're happy with somebody that doesn't value you so i feel like you are in a situation where you're not being valued because you're not going after what you deserve so anyway cancer i do feel like there is an opportunity for you to um work with some other people or with somebody else this person can teach you things these this person can it wants to believes that you can do it you know they believe in you they believe in you you know um, this would be a change for the better if you can master your emotions and stop giving to the person that is not investing in you this person isn't loyal okay they're not loyal at all you deserve to be appreciated. You deserve it. It's going to be hard work. It's hard work to walk away from something that you have invested in. It is. But if you're not getting what you deserve, you have to. It's going to be hard work. There's your hard work. Work, 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 work. That's what the Eight of Pentacles is. That's trying really, really hard. You have skills. You have the ability to be successful. But you have to be open to working with somebody else. I feel like for some of you, you're just working, 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 working. You're burying your emotions in your job and your work. You know, you're, you're coming home at night and pretending that everything is okay. And you know it's, and you keep giving to this person, you're giving them your energy, you know, you're hoping that they will appreciate you. They don't. They don't. It's a joke. Okay, this person's just taking what they can get, and you keep giving it. You keep giving it. You're giving, maybe, maybe they, they need your money, you know? You keep giving them your, all your attention and all your money and all your resources when there's somebody else over here that is waiting for you. And this person, whoever the person is that's waiting for you, is a worker. You could actually work as a team with this person. You know, there would be teamwork. There would be reciprocation. There would be respect. They would appreciate your skills. They would appreciate what you have to offer them. But you keep giving to somebody who has nothing to give you. They're not giving you anything. Now this is about admitting defeat, stepping down, surrendering. You've been in a you've been in a tough position, right? You have. 
I feel like you need to you need to step off. You need to step down. You need to walk away. I feel like you've been walking on eggshells. Somebody's been making you walk on eggshells. They're very combative. They like to fight. They're always putting you in defense mode. They're always poking you. They want more. They want more. They want more. It's like it's like you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. I think it's overwhelming. I think that you're overwhelmed by somebody who, you know, is very defensive. They put you on the defensive. You're always, you're like, oh my God, what's going to happen next? What, what are they going to say next? Chariot reverse. Now, chariot reverse is stop. Just stop. This is about, you, you, you aren't finding the mental discipline. You're not finding the self-control. You need to take the reins. You need to take charge. You need to master your emotions. It feels like right now you're having a hard time. You're staying put. You are definitely staying put in a situation where there's no success. There's no more victory there. It's not leading you down the right path. There's stagnation. You know, it's going nowhere. It's like you need to get in the driver's seat and you need to go. You need to take charge. I, I, I really feel as though... Uh, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to, but I think you're thinking about it a lot because there's opposition, right? You don't want to deal with, you don't want to deal with the opposition. You're sick of the confrontation. You're sick of the fighting. And if you walk away or eat any of that, you're afraid it's going to get worse. If you walk away, you will get the appreciation that you deserve. But as long as you keep fighting with this individual, you're not going anywhere. You're not. You're just gonna. You're just staying put in a situation that is emotionally disappointing. Uh, you know, maybe you're holding on to the assets, whatever. But where is the love? Where is the love? The love is up here. It's available, but you're missing it. You are absolutely missing an opportunity for love because of, I don't know. I feel like it's assets or money or something like that. We got two. Ooh, tower in the four of wands reverse. Now the tower is the universe forcing a major life change. So that's when the universe comes in because you have been avoiding. You have been avoiding facing your fears. This is very, very fearful. You've been, you haven't had any faith. You haven't been able to face your fears. You've been avoiding change. So there's going to be an event. There's going to be an event probably with somebody that you're committed to. Could be whoever you're, could be, could be a job, but I don't think it is. Something that you are very, very it's a, it committed to. There's going to be a dismantling. There's going to be a explosion or something like that. There's going to be a fight or something. You know, there's going to be a disruption in, in the home or in the business or in the establishment. There's going to be a disruption. Okay, there's going to be a disruption. It's going to be a big disruption. This is going to cause, I don't know, could be a split, could be a breakup, could be um, a separation with the four of wands. It's going to cause a lot of unhappiness. This is the universe forcing somebody to, to start over, start with a clean slate. Okay? Um, This is a very messy situation. It is a messy situation. This is definitely a commitment that is falling apart. It is falling apart. That's false pretenses, okay? And this is staying put in a situation that is built on, you know, it's emotionally discontent, okay? This is false pretenses. So, so it's a false foundation, false foundation. Somebody has built up a foundation that is not stable. It's not secure. At least it isn't anymore. And it's time to, this is a necessary evil where the universe comes in and wipes it out it, because you have to clean this up. This is, it's going to be messy. It is going to be very, very, very messy. Okay. This party is over. This, this party is over. This, this marriage is over. If it's a marriage, this commitment is over. It's not stable. It's not secure. It's about to explode. Things are about to explode. There's going to be some sort of major uproar. 
that affects a foundation that you are involved with and forces you to rebuild someplace else because that ground is no longer fertile. So this week, there is going to be a major event in, in, in a commitment or a foundation that is going to really shake things up and probably force you to admit your defeat and step down, you know, whatever it is. And it's hard to admit defeat. It is hard. Or, and if it's not you, it could be somebody that you're dealing with. We do have somebody up there that is very valuable, that deserves to be appreciated, and they are going to be appreciated. And that is what this is about. So there is going to be a change for the better, but it isn't going to be an easy change. It's, it's going to be uh, explosive. It's going to really uh, shake things up. Okay, so get prepared for a shake up that uh, really, this, 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 this right here is something, this could be an angry outburst. There could be an emotional outburst ahead. This is angry. So there could be a, an outburst ahead that causes major disruption. Okay, so just that, put that in your pocket. Anyhow, um, but you're going to be working with somebody else. You are going to be working with somebody else that appreciates you when you rebuild this new foundation, whatever it is. So this is a week of, well, there's going to be a disturbance, okay? The tower is a major disturbance that knocks somebody off their pedestal. I mean, it, it does, okay? Somebody is about to get... Uh, uh, I don't know, it could be a fight. It could be an extreme fight, okay? Somebody is about to be, and maybe they're going to be taken down, taken down from their pedestal. I don't know. Um, either way, there is, a, there is a foundation here where there's not happiness, okay? There's no happiness. There's, there's uh, a lack of commitment, and the party is over. Good luck.